old fish heads. I'm back. I'm headed out on Long Island Sound. My buddy Joe is coming out. He just got a kayak. He got an Old Town PDL. Which I'm kind of jealous of. It's a nice kayak. We'll get right down to it. We'll try not to talk so much in these videos and just do more fishing. Stay tuned. sandworm and uh, fish bites. Uh, he's probably close to 30. He swam right at me. No, he's probably like 27. Because like it gives him slack and I lost a big one the other day because of that. Oh, they, they swim? Yeah, he's just 27. Fish. No, he's nice. 27. Oh. Stabbed the shit out of me. Uh. Microphone down. like that my scale is broken that clip kind of sucked but you'll see it all right fish heads I am back out on the Long Island Sound it's Wednesday August 25th you might notice I have the camera on the uh, right side of my kayak that's because the rod holder on this side got all stripped and I kept dropping the, the GoPro in the water. I'm tired of buying new microphones, so I got it on this side and a brand new rod holder. It shouldn't fall out of that one. Hopefully you guys can hear this. So I'm gonna start off with Purple Haze. I have a piece of sandworm on there and I just saw like three or four striped bass on the surface right at the launch here. And uh, I got a hit and they just ripped the tail of the sandworm off. So what I'm doing, is shoving that live sandworm inside so it's got the scent of the sandworm on there and on top of it is a gulp sandworm hotter than hell right now even though i know hell does not exist it's just a figure of speech everyone goes to heaven even uh the people who have done things that are unforgivable by humans in this life i hold a piss fish leak Didn't finish taking a leap though. It kinda hurts. It was decent, it was probably in the 30s, low 30s, or high 20s. On the surface. Oh, just my pants though. It's just about to switch over to Red Rainbow. But he's definitely in the 30s. 30s class. Purple haze, mid thirties. Oh, that hooks me. Mid thirties, so good. Good first fish. 
great first fish. Beautiful fish, very healthy. No marks on them. Right in the corner of the mouth. Take chill, buddy. I'm about to let you go. Oh! I think I just gave that fish a concussion, man. He swam off, but I hope he's okay. And just because they swim away, like, took all the slime off him. That slime is a protective seal, you know, that protects them against infections. So I took a lot of slime off, and he also just smacked himself. I don't know if it was head or the part of his neck. Smacked himself inside of the kayak. That is not the release I wanted, and I was hoping now that the camera's over here, you guys would be able to see the release better. That was a mistake. So this tube, look at the shine on these things, man. It just can't resist the shine. And if you have a fresh sandworm on there, you're golden like Pony Boy. baby. Nice fish. Forty-three. All right. Great fish. Nice fish. A little more delicate this time. He didn't put up much of a fight because the way he was hooked. Hopefully I didn't touch his gills because if you actually touch their gills with your hand or with a hook, the damage can be irreversible. You know, if you keep a freshwater trout out of the water for more than 15 seconds, I think it is, they say the damage to their gills is irreversible and they'll die even if they swim away great. <clears throat> Let's watch this guy swim. He swam off. I gotta look at that leader. That was awesome, man. Nice fish. That's the first big fish I've gotten off this point. You really need 45s and up, but I'm very happy to get a 43 in the boat. That was great. Awesome. Can't worry about that camera right now. Definitely in the 40s. 
Gave him a little slack trying to move the camera. I shouldn't have done that. fish. Another 40 inch class fish. We got a pretty accurate measurement right now because of the way his tail is. Where you want to go buddy? Find his father. This guy hit it as I was reeling it in. Little baby. Belly flop. Sorry about that. I'll try to do that again. We're definitely feeding. Every fish I got today was under rain bait. Eating the rain bait, or they're eating the uh, s the snapper blues that are packing them in. I honestly don't know, but every fish I got, even the big ones, they were all underneath rain bait. So I caught some nice fish today, but unfortunately, none of them really helped me in my goal of coming in first on striper cup. The guys ahead of me, uh, their smallest fish are like 45 inches. The 43 helps, but even still, uh, I need my smallest fish to be no less than 45 inches. Possibly, yeah, I could come out here in one day and get 450s, but is that probable? No. It's so possible, yes, but probably not very likely. The sun is my worst enemy. I'll take the waves, I'll take fighting through the seaweed and all that crap that comes with it. But um, the sun just takes so much out of me. Like today, halfway through the day, I was like, I want to go home. If you're not enjoying it, don't do it, no matter what it is in your life. Your life is too short to not do what you love every single day. Purple Haze is now available on the website. Hopefully I come out and get, you know, 450s catapult me up to first place but that's not really my major goal it's just something that popped into my mind once i saw you know that leaderboard thank you guys for watching thank you for all the subscribers that have joined appreciate the love send it out man i know you guys all got friends we share with one person they share with one person that's how it goes the snowball effect